Who are the Palestinians and how is annexation or Israeli sovereignty going to affect them? In this part of the Annexation Nation series, we're going to focus solely on the Palestinian angle. Welcome to the Shaliach Show. In the past videos, we have focused on the Jewish and Israeli perspective on Area C in the West Bank. And today we're examining the effect of the annexation on the Palestinian Arabs. There are three types of Palestinians from a geopolitical standpoint that are usually mistakenly lumped together in the context of annexation. In order to understand Israeli-Palestinian conflict and the annexation, one must first understand these three types. So the first geopolitical type is Palestinian Jordanians. Out of 10 million Jordanians, about 5 million are Palestinians. So 50%. Some say 30%, some say 80%. Whatever your source is, it's millions. Her Majesty Queen Rania of Jordan is a Palestinian too. The second type of Palestinians is Israeli Arabs. Out of 9 million Israelis, about 18% are Muslim Arab citizens of Israel, enjoying full democratic rights. As other minorities in Israel, Muslim citizens vote in elections and serve as Israeli parliament members, lawyers and judges, doctors and national soccer team players. The third geopolitical type of Palestinians is represented by the residents of the Palestinian Authority and Gaza Strip. Although Palestine is not a full state, Arabs who live there hold Palestinian passports and are subject to Palestinian civic institutions like Palestinian Ministry of Health and Palestinian Police. Those Palestinian residents are also divided. Some live in the Gaza Strip, controlled by the Islamic resistance movement, Hamas. There are 1.7 to 2 million Arabs and zero Jews living in Gaza. Other Palestinian residents live in the West Bank, that is divided by the Oslo Accords to areas A, B and C. Areas A and B, shown here in green, are controlled by the Palestinian Authority. 1.7 to 2.5 million Arabs and zero Jews live here. And finally, Area C, that wide area surrounding the green areas, is under Israeli control, as agreed in the Oslo Accords. There are about half a million Israeli Jews and 50 to 150,000 Arabs holding Palestinian passports living in Area C. And it is only to this Area C Israel is extending its sovereignty. So which geopolitical Palestinian group is going to be directly affected by the Israeli annexation? Probably none. Certainly not Jordanian Palestinians. Obviously not the Israeli Palestinians who are full Israeli citizens. Not Gazan Palestinians. Not the Palestinians in areas A and B. And probably not even the Palestinians in the Israeli Area C. Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu has indicated in the past that the sovereignty is only going to be applied to the Jewish communities in Area C and will exclude Palestinian Authority subjects. So, applying Israeli sovereignty simply extends the Israeli civic law to Israeli citizens and declares Israeli-controlled Area C as a legitimate and sovereign part of Israel, according to the government. Some Palestinians might not like that move, but their civilian status, property rights and daily routines are not going to change because of annexation. Some Palestinians actually prefer being annexed and receiving Israeli citizenship. But this is not happening now anyway. And I'm not saying it won't happen someday in the future, but then it would be a completely different scenario and different video series. Mm -hmm. 